Welcome back. This one, I passport has been on a roll with some of these uh, keyboards, these Bluetooth keyboards. Um, I did do one just recently, and you guys will see those videos where I have a USB receiver and also Bluetooth. This one's just, just strictly Bluetooth that I'm doing today. Very completely different keyboard. Now, if you guys are interested in this stuff right here, I always have links in the description below how to get you guys all hooked up with the latest and greatest deals. This one is a Bluetooth connection powered by lithium battery. Um, it, these things last a very long time on a single charge. Of course, shoot me an email if you guys are interested in this stuff. Um, Rojas Entertainment at gmail.com or you could also check the description below I leave links to this that way you guys get all hooked up so what's in the box pretty simple you get a little instruction manual right there so pretty simple pretty easy and you will get a a little cable here to charge you do not get the brick so just keep that in mind now here is the actual remote itself um, when you do plug it in, the, the power is going to be right up there. So that's how you're going to keep the charge going. And that's it. Just plug this into your phone and any USB thing here that does power. Now, if you don't want to use this thing here, that's fine. You could just use this by itself. Um, there is, you know, here's the keyboard right there. So you get a lot of cool little options here. So pretty nice. Now, if you were to use this thing here like that, and you do get two of these, they give you two of these and it and, and i think it depends so for this one for example you could actually slide in your fire stick remote just like that that way you have your fire stick and you have your uh keyboard now um when it comes to the other one let's just say you don't have a fire stick remote or you have a slightly different it looks like it might be a slightly different fire stick remote but i know this one probably won't fit right in there it's going to be either yeah it's going to be too long so maybe a different type of remote I'm not really sure which one that one is for um looks like looks like maybe the old fire stick remotes so i'm going to leave this one connected here and what we're going to do is let's go ahead and let me see i'm going to turn on the keyboard and now i have my little light there that's my little bluetooth light and I'm going to switch over here to my fire stick and we're going to come here to the stick itself. Let's go ahead and hit that home button. We're going to come all the way over to settings. Let's come here to controller Bluetooth. Click that. Come down to other Bluetooth devices and then select add Bluetooth devices. Now here, just give it a second. It should populate if it's going to be ready to go. And it doesn't look like anything popped up just yet. And the reason for that is because it's not in pairing mode. So I'm going to hit the back button once on here. That way I'm on that screen. Now, according to this, it says I have to hit the FN button right there. And then right next to it is the BT button. So let me switch over here. You got a bigger sense of the buttons here. FN, hold this and then hold that BT. And then the blue, but the blue light on the far left over here is going to start flashing. So let's come back to the device here. We're going to click on add Bluetooth and hopefully there it is. It pops up. I passport Bluetooth. So give it a few seconds. It's going to say now I'm connected. I don't see a backlight on this thing. So I, I probably, oh, here we go. So here's a, a button right there to turn on the, the, the colors. So and it looks like it's just going to be red. I'm sure you, there, there's probably like a cycle here through this, but let's go ahead and hit that home button. And it's going to bring me back all the way over here, right next to the space bar button. You're going to see like some numbers. You're going to see some up, down, left, right. So if I do that, everything is working pretty, pretty smooth, actually. It's actually very, very nice. I wonder if I hit that magnifying glass. Yep. So if I want to type in, let's just see Disney Plus here. Yep. Everything comes up just good. And then I could just... I totally misspelled Disney Plus. So if I come here, where is this the is spacebar the enter button? Spacebar is the enter button, and then there is an actual enter button right there. So I totally misspelled Disney Plus. So um yeah, works actually very, very good. If I hit that back button, everything is good. If I hit the home button, it brings me back. If I hit this settings button, I wonder if it opens up. No, it doesn't open up the settings, so that's okay. Uh, so it looks like just one button might be a little bit useless, but that's fine. Everything else looks good. 
Now it doesn't say, I just read the instructions real quick about changing the, the, the light color and it doesn't show anything. So that's a, that's fine. It does, shouldn't matter anyway. Um, we're going to come back here. I'm going to show you guys how to, how to disconnect it. So I'm going to hit, uh, down, go to controllers and Bluetooth. Now, again, if I do hit that enter button, it's going to do that. Or if, um, or the space bar, if I do, there is an actual enter button. If I do that, it's going to do that. So if I do click on that settings, it said that, that it actually did work on that. So that's good. So it opens up that button just the same way as your, your fire stick remote, the one with the three lines, the hamburger button, that hamburger button does work. And it just says, press enter to confirm to delete, give it a few seconds here. And there it is it says disconnected and gone pretty nice and easy. So Stay tuned for another video because we're going to check this out to see if it works on the NVIDIA Shield. And if it does, that's going to be pretty nice and awesome. And I know for sure this one is for your Fire Stick just the way it's set up. This one over here might be probably for your NVIDIA Shield remote. So I don't know, maybe the old one. So let's go ahead and, and try that one out on the next video. We're definitely going to do that right now. Um, but stay tuned for the next video because... Yeah, let's let's check it out and see if it works. Um, yeah, make sure you guys leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these keyboards. I love these keyboards. These keyboards are actually pretty nice and pretty smooth, and they work forever. So, yeah, and pretty tiny, too. <laughs> um, with all that being said, I hope you guys take care. Take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.